Climate describes the average weather conditions in an area over time. Climate is often described in terms of the amount of precipitation an area receives and its average temperature. Based on the climate, vegetation, and the organisms living in an area, scientists classify the Earth's land surface into biomes. Each biome has distinct characteristics that make it unique. Generally, Earth's biomes occur in patterns, depending on distance from the equator. Tropical rainforests are found close to the equator. They are warm and humid, and have high precipitation all year round. Tropical rainforests have dense vegetation with lots of trees. And in terms of animals, they are the most ecologically diverse land ecosystems on Earth. Some examples of tropical rainforests are the Amazon rainforest, the Congo rainforest, and my favourite, the Daintree rainforest. Like tropical rainforests, tropical grasslands are close to the equator and remain hot all year round. But with less precipitation comes less dense vegetation and a lower diversity of animals. Well-known tropical grasslands include the African savanna and the South American pumpers. Deserts are dry, often extremely hot, and have very little vegetation. The harsh conditions and extremes in temperature mean that desert plants and animals have highly specialised adaptations for survival. Common deserts include Sahara Desert in Northern Africa, the Mojave Desert in southwestern United States, and the red sandy plains that make up Australia's Simpson Desert. Temperate forests are found in locations that have mild winters and cool summers. These forests are dominated by trees that lose their leaves in fall each year, although there are also some evergreen trees. The temperate forest is home to a wide variety of animals, including squirrels, deer, bears, and birds. Some well-known temperate forests in the United States include the Sierra Nevada Forest in California, the Olympic National Forest in Washington, and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. The temperate grasslands have a variety of grasses as the dominant vegetation, although there are also scattered shrubs and short trees. These grasses have deep roots that help them to withstand drought and grazing. The soils are typically deep and fertile with a high content of organic matter. Some well-known temperate grasslands are the American prairies, the steeps of Russia and Ukraine, the pampas of Argentina, and the Velds of South Africa. 
boreal forests are located far from the equator and close to the Earth's North Pole. Boreal forests have evergreen coniferous trees as the dominant vegetation and have long cold winters. Boreal forests are home to many animals including bears, wolves, moose, caribou, and lynx. Some famous boreal forests include the taiga in Russia, and North America, and the forests of Scandinavia. Tundras are located between boreal forests and the Earth's North Pole. Characteristics of a tundra include very low temperatures year-round, high winds, permafrost, scarce vegetation, and wildlife adapted to the cold. Not many animals are able to survive in a harsh tundra environment. Those that can are generally large mammals like polar bears, musk ox, and reindeer. Polar ice biomes can be found at the Earth's North and South Poles. It is the only biome to contain no vegetation. Precipitation is low and it's bitterly cold all year round. The amount of daylight at the Earth's poles varies depending on the season. During the winter, there is very little daylight. And during the summer, there is 24 hours of daylight. Very few animals are able to survive living on polar ice. Two notable exceptions are polar bears and a few species of penguins. Thanks for learning. Comment down below which biome you would like to live in. See ya! Don't forget to subscribe!